What's up guys, welcome to the video. I hope you're doing great. Um, I have some footage today that uh, we shot with Henry on the day that we got him. I wasn't gonna post it because when we shot it, I wasn't vlogging. Um, my mom had open heart surgery, so I've been in Boston a lot during that time. But anyways, I thought the footage was really cute. And uh, yeah, it's the day we got Henry. Obviously he's much bigger now. But yeah, take a look. Okay guys, I just got here to David's and I was surprised with something. I don't deserve it. You guys wanna show what I was surprised with? Oh my god! Wow, his face. Guys, we don't have a name yet. We're working on the names. Can you um, show Todd? Close your eyes. I know! It's an English bulldog. Oh, oh my god, holy What? He, he's insane. This is the cutest puppy. We're looking for names. Do a human name. Everyone says that. Your name's with Larry. He's insane. Henry? Henry. Henry's pretty cool. Hank? Henry. Hank, Hank is really good. Hank's good. What do you think about Romeo? I like Romeo. I like Romeo's cool. I like Hank better though. Okay, that'll be $10. <laughs> Dude, he's insane. <laughs> Look at he's got his tail. He's got his tail. <laughs> he's mad at that tail. Get that thing off me. I said I had enough of it. Yeah, get it. Get it. Get it. Yeah, get it. Get it. Get it. Go on, get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh my God. You're insane. You're insane, guy. You're insane, guy. Chow time. Hungry. He likes you. No. I haven't seen them do this with anybody. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Really? He's super playful with you. Holy cow, Susie, what's going on? Do you have dog treats in your pocket? Maybe you smell like kebabs when you're at the restaurant? No. It's my new dog. Is it? The David got it for me. No way. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Are you serious? Dead serious. He's so cute. What's your name? Um, we don't have a name yet. You don't have a name for him? No, we've only had him for an hour. Godzilla. He's pretty good. Mozart. Beethoven. Gilbert. Edward. Okay guys, I'm outside my house. I'm gonna surprise Wyatt and Charlie. What do you guys think it is? Is it alive? Maybe. Whoa, 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 right. close the eyes. Oh, okay. Can you all squeeze closer together? Keep looking at me. What did you say you thought it was? A dog. A dog? Oh, uh, what kind of dog? Jason, a golden? <laughs> David surprised me with a golden retriever. Oh my god. Holy crap, that's <laughs> Is he insane or what? What the boo? Oh my god. Wait, what's his, what his name? What's his name? What's his name? Well, what do you think of Kobe? Do you like that name or no? Wait, you got any good names for him? Don't let him pee. Don't. Oh, he's, he's peeing. He's peeing. Oh, don't let him pee on the couch. Well, I can't huh? stop them. Yeah, you can just pick him <laughs> up. Just pick him up. <laughs> well, no, they. Oh. Oh. Can you name him Pretzel? Pretzel. No. No, because you can't be like Pretzel. 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 Like, sit, Pretzel, sit. Dwight. 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 That's so Dwight. Dwight. For the office. Yeah. Dwight. Oh. That's so good. Dwight. I like Henry or Stanley. Tony. Henry Gurnan Nash. Henry Gordon Nash is funny. <laughs> That's what my friend just said. That's really good. Henry Gordon Nash. The law firms of Henry Gordon Nash. <laughs> Were you in an accident? <laughs> Alright, let's call it Henry Gordon Nash. No, you can't just decide what to think a little longer just to make. Well, I've been thinking all day. I gotta get a, gotta get a name for this dog. He's so confused right now. Yeah. Can we name him Henry? You like Henry? I love Henry. Genius. Great. Henry it is. Or Joe, her. I want you to christen him Henry. Henry! Okay guys, so Joe was living here for a long time, uh, for a couple months while he was getting his new condo. Um, and he has since moved out. But he left his BMW outside the house. And I've asked him several times to move it, and he won't move the BMW, even though that he's living in his new condo down the road. It's really annoying, there's no parking. My nanny has nowhere to park, my assistant has nowhere to park. Um, so I decided to hire a news reporter and investigate. So good. Friendship. It's all about being there for each other. But what happens when one friend takes advantage? I'm Colby Smallzell with Action News, here with a story that'll break your hearts. Jason Nash is a 48-year-old choreographer living in Sherman Oaks, California. He says his friend, 41-year-old Joe Volpus, stayed with him for two months after Nash generously offered him a place to stay 
keeping Volpus off the streets. He lived here for a couple months and he has left his 2018 BMW X2 right outside in front of my house and he won't move it. So this is the car. And as you can see, it's the it's the best space. Volpus has since moved into his new condo, but one thing that hasn't moved, his BMW. Left here for over a month, revving up trouble for Nash and his neighbors. I don't know what this guy's problem is. I don't know why he can't get rid of it. I don't know why Jason can't get rid of it, but it is definitely a problem. I have a housekeeper. She has to park all the way down the street and carry her vacuum cleaner here every day because Joe won't move his BMW. Yo no quiere mover el carro. Y yo tengo que caminar dos bloques para poder buscar parqueadero para parquear. So, yo llego, yo muy cansada y me duele todos los pies y todo, y todo el cuerpo. Mike Sheffer is one of Nash's friends. Good friends just don't do that. You don't leave your car parked on the street for three weeks. I actually saw the news truck driving by and I followed you because I said, oh, we're finally going to nail this scumbag, you know? Just maybe you lost track of it, but like, Joe, come on, man. You're, this is, you could do better. What are some adjectives that you would use to describe Joe? Uh, freeloader, narcissistic, delusional, guy who thinks he looks good with a beard. It's sort of just... The indignation, the, the, the I don't care about anybody else. I mean, what do you think about it? As a reporter, I need to maintain my unbiased opinion and get his side of the story, but let's go do that. Colby, I, I'm so glad you're here because I would love nothing more than to get to the bottom of this and so Irma can get her parking space back. Let's get Irma's parking space back. Action News tracked down Volpus at his new condo in Sherman Oaks. Hi, Mr. Volpus, I'm Colby Smallzell with Action News Investigative. Oh. Did you tell my we car? We will be if we do not get the answers that we are looking for today. <laughs> You've been asked over and over again. We've received these complaints. Are you a real news reporter? I am, yes. Okay. Colby Smallzell with Action News. Do you think that there is space here now for the car to be moved? Not in this car garage. It's a one car garage. I've been told differently. By who? By my sources. It was clear the garage could fit two cars. The only thing it couldn't fit was more of his lies. <laughs> when is the last time you used the BMW? Last week. And you brought it back to that space? Yeah, I leave it there. I'm one person. I, why don't you guys understand that? I feel like you guys should go. I talked to my lawyer. We still have more questions for you, though. There's a property line right there. I don't care. You crossed it. <laughs> Mr. Volpes! Okay. Oh my god, that's her. Volpe's returned to the door where he and Nash shared some heated words. You hate the car there? I, I, I can't express it to you enough. I don't mind the cars there. If there was like a ton of spaces, right. I'd be like, cool, yeah, leave it there whatever you want. What I'm saying is that Jess and Susie and Irma. They have nowhere to park. That's not true. There are plenty, there are days where they, there's like no spaces. Like, I'm telling you. That's what kills me, Irma. Irma who came here with nothing. Yo, please, please. And Maybe. you know how great Irma is. Maybe she should get there earlier to get a spot. <laughs> oh! You're done with Irma. <laughs> That's she... on Irma's name. <laughs> it's really funny. I really do like having two cars in different parts of town. It's so, it's, it's like a cool experience. What if you left it at David's house? Too far. Your house is perfect. No, that's true. I'll give you that. Yours is right by Fryman, which I use every single day. I can go get a carpet, come back, take out the Corvette, a Friday night, PCH. How much are you paying for the rental space? Street property, free. No follow-ups. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. There he is. There's no parking. Mr. Volpes, where are you going to park now? You've left your BMW here for over a month, and now you can't find parking yourself. Doesn't that seem a little ironic? Mr. Volpes, do you have any answers here? Excuse me. Are you getting in the car? Are you moving it? I forgot some stuff here the other day. Well, why don't you take the car back and then you'll have it all at your new condo. Why won't you show your face, Mr. Volpes? And off he goes into the night. His other car still parked here. Colby Smallzell, Action News. Amazing. Thank you.